everyone and welcome once again to the Lincoln Children's Zoo for our Keeper Corner segment. My name is Sarah and I'm one of the animal ambassador keepers here at the zoo. So through these segments you have been able to meet animals all throughout the zoo that have been both big and small. So today I thought I'd introduce you to one of our smaller residents. So here with me today I have one of our female Madagascar hissing cockroaches. So as you can see, she is a quite lovely lady. Most people think that cockroaches are gross or weird, but we're actually gonna learn today that she has some really cool adaptations or features that help her where she lives. So based off of her name, the Madagascar Hissing Cockroach, she is from the island of Madagascar. So she is gonna be living on the forest floor, um, interacting with a bunch of different plants, but she is going to be living within a family group. So she's gonna be living with her young, with other males, and so they all are going to live together to go ahead and protect each other. And a way that they actually protect each other is through a sound that they make. So the name, Madagascar Hissing Cockroach. So how these guys actually hiss is through specialized sacs that they have along the side of their body. So when people like us, we go ahead and talk, we have a voice box that vibrates to go ahead and make all the different sounds that we do. If we think of other insects that make noise like uh, cricket, they're actually rubbing their legs together to go ahead and make that sound. So kissing cockroaches, they don't necessarily have a voice box, but they have these specialized sacs that allow them to make that sound. So she's gonna take in a breath full of air and rather than, uh, and they'll go ahead and expel that air through those sacs along the side of their body, which is what makes that sound. So if you could imagine a group of a hundred of cockroaches all living together and some kind of animal coming through the forest and they all hiss together in unison, that's gonna make a very loud and terrifying sound that might remind that animal of something like a snake. So they're gonna go ahead and try to get out of there because they don't wanna get hurt. But in actuality, it's just these little guys who are big bluffers. So um, if you actually look, there's her face right there. So cockroaches have super teeny tiny mouth parts. In fact, they're so tiny, she can't even chew the food that she eats. And what cockroaches go ahead and eat is actually rotting fruits and vegetables. She is one of nature's natural recycling systems to go ahead and help keep the forest floor clean. So she's gonna find those fruits and things that have fallen on the ground and she's gonna suck all of the juices out of them. So cockroaches, they just drink smoothies all day. They're very healthy, all natural life, you know what I mean? Um, and so, as you've all been hearing me say, I've been saying this is one of our females. So if you take a look at the back of her head, there are these very teeny tiny little bumps right here. Now if we go ahead and take a look at a male Madagascar hissing cockroach, you're going to notice a big difference. So you're going to see these really big horns right on the top of his head here. Those horns are something that the males will do um, during the breeding season. So the male cockroaches will actually bash their heads together like big horn sheep to go ahead and figure out who's going to be smooth with the ladies, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, so that is another really cool feature that they have to go ahead and take care of themselves. Um, they'll also use the hissing sound that they make in different like breeding and mating rituals that they do. So for being a pretty simple bug, they actually have a really complex life that they live. Um, cockroaches like these guys can live for about two to five years uh, and we actually have two very successful colonies here at the zoo down in the hive. So we have a tank of all of our ladies and then we have a tank of all of our boys so you can go ahead and see both of them. So hopefully when the zoo reopens, Hopefully it's sometime soon or in the near future, but when it does, make sure you come on down to the hive and meet these amazing insects. 